you remember her from the hugely popular 80s sitcom Punky Brewster and now actress, writer, and director, also mother of four, Soleil Moonfry joining us right here. So like, do you still like it when people recognize you as Punky? I love it. If I am like a hundred and they're calling me Punky, I will still be happy. <laughs> I love it. I hold Punky so close to my heart. So like you have four children and now you're getting involved in a cause to remind people, especially teenagers, about the meningitis vaccine. Why is this a cause near and dear to your heart? I have four kids and they are all different ages. My oldest turned 16 this week, which is so huge. And I learned about meningitis B through a dear friend. And I was shocked to learn what I learned through it. And that it really affects one of the groups that it affects most is 16 to 23 year olds. And so as our kids are in high school, going into college, uh, this is really the time to ask our doctors and healthcare providers about it. Yeah, super important. You mentioned, Soleil, that you have four children. So the last 18 months must have been really interesting for you. Let me tell you, the last few years have been quite interesting. Yes, <laughs> it's been a wild journey. I carried a camera with me everywhere I went. We weren't concerned about the internet. We did the things that teenagers did. We just, I got an opportunity to watch your Kid 90 documentary. Did not realize that during the 80s and 90s, you basically carried around your own camcorder the whole time. Looking back at that footage, you are so loved. Your social circle of friends was so close. One of the most incredible things for me that came out of the journey with Kid 90 was that I loved so many people and I didn't really quite realize how much I was loved back. And I think so often in life, we don't, we don't see that love around us. And, and so it was such an incredible journey and I'm so proud of Kid 90 and I really hope people will go and stream it on Hulu and keep watching it over and over. And I'm just, I'm so proud of it. I'm not sure if you remember this, but sometime in the late eighties at the Grossmont mall, you came to make an appearance and mall security did not expect thousands upon thousands of your fans to show up to try and see you. Is that what life was like for you at that time? It's so funny. You know, it, it's so, it's so incredible to have those experiences embedded and in my heart and mind. And, and for me, Punky was always so much more than a show. It was really the connective tissue of, of healing. And, and I am so proud of it and, and honored to have been a part of it. And I just, I, I, I love it. I'm, I'm so grateful. And Punky will live on in my heart forever and ever and ever.